Hey guys, today I want to talk about the trapezius muscle and how we can strengthen it. Now, a very common exercise used is shrugging. There's a couple of pitfalls in this exercise that I'm going to show you, especially uh, with regards to the depression of the clavicle and how we can actually compress the brachial plexus if we go into excessive depression. Now, I also want to talk about the benefits of strengthening a trap. Uh, the trapeze is actually a, a very important upwardly rotator of the scapula. Upward rotation is uh, very important when abducting the shoulder. If you don't have adequate upward rotation, you may have shoulder impingement, for example. It is also an important stabilizer of the neck. When it is weak, it frequently causes neck pain, headaches, and so on. So there's a lot of benefits from having a strong trapezius muscle. Now let me show you how to strengthen it. So you can use a band or you can use a dumbbell or whatever you want, but a good general gui guideline is that you want to use a low enough weight so that you don't uh, perform the movement improperly. So in this case I'm going to use a, a light band. It's very important that you don't start with your arms too low, down, too far down, because beneath the clavicle you have uh, the, the brachial plexus, the subclavian artery, the subclavian vein, vein, and you don't want to compress those by the clavicles. So it's important to have an adequate height of, of the clavicle, which is approximately half an inch or one centimeter above maximum maximal depression. So if this is maximal depression, I get them up slightly, I'm long in the neck, and I pull my shoulders straight up gently straight to the roof in a slow and controlled movement and I feel that the, tra the fibers of the, of the trapezius fire all the way up to the skull. A lot of patients when they perform this exercise they will pull excessively backwards or forward. In those cases you're not going to engage the upper fibers of the trapezius. Another pr common problem is that the patient is hinging at the neck. In that case, you will also not engage those upper fibers of the trapezius muscle. So, the trapezius, it is very, is a, it is an important muscle. It's important to have it strong. It's, it does very important roles uh, with regards to biomechanics, keeping the shoulders up, moving them properly, rotating the neck, rotating the neck, and so on and so forth. Uh, furthermore, when you do the exercise, make sure you don't go too far down with the clavicle during the movement, so that you don't compress the brachial plexus and that is basically the most important things you need to know and of course perform the exercise slowly so that you really target all of those motion uh, all of those fibers of the muscle so that's what i have for you today guys i hope you enjoyed this video um, if you have any questions leave uh, some, a comment down below and i hope you will have a nice day